Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to set up Appium into WebDriver IO and how to install a APK file into emulator. This is the one we are going to discussing. In my previous video, I show you a different ways to do it installation for APK file. And now we are going to show you for the desired capability to how we can able to implement those functionality. Okay, for this, we are going to need to create for one uh, folder. Web driver IO underscore app. Okay, this is my one and I'm going to take for Visual Studio Code Editor. And I'm going to take it for opening my folder app okay now i'm going to take info terminal now okay now here i will go for one by one we need to do for first step like uh, one by one we need to configure for configuration purpose we need to do for uh the commands which i already shown that again okay, one more time i'm going to show you npm init iphone y is the one to install the package npm in it wd io okay this is the one we need to configure and here we need to choose for appium basically we choose for chrome browser and spec and all now we are going to choose for appium okay and how we can able to do it we'll see here Why it is trapped? Can close. I'll open one more time. Yeah, now it is clean. Now I'm going to install one by one. Okay. I'll take top and now here npm init iphone y and we'll get for package okay then i'm going to clear this one and again npm init wd io this is we are going to configure now wd io with the appium server and before that you have to remember we need to install appium into your local previous videos i explained about uh, how to install android studio and uh, emulators and the appian server and all please go through that and how to configure the package also explain please go through that once you have done then only you can able to do it this way otherwise you should not do because it will ask you to configure for apk file location as well okay now you can see here web driver it is found in this particular location if you want to make it for y also is okay or you can directly enter for enter also it will accept i'm going to choose for local ete and only for my local and if you want to appium support yes right why mobile and use for mochu and you can able to no and then here you need to auto generated yes and you can able to use for test location yes and page object model yes documentation yes and a spec is already default will be selected you can choose that one auto wait by selecting by using was space and enter and here we need to choose for chromium not uh, not chromium it is a appium because we already here we selected here you can see this is the one we selected for mobile app that's why you can able to see for appium and some other uh, different uh, mobile supported codes okay and we are using for appium that's why i'm going to choose for appium itself okay then here install means this yes just once you click this one and it will start for installation for all that 
what are the things we select are right everything it will install it and even you can see here the packages are got started for installation now here it will ask you for npm wd and even you can able to see uh, specs will be normal and if you go for wdio.configuration you can able to see in the configuration location the local is a port number 47234 uh, port number it will run every time and the spec it is presented here and exclude if you want to exclude something you can specify the path uh, capabilities and what are the capabilities are maximized and capability by default it is provided this all the things okay and here you need to you uh, ui automator to also you need to install and in case if you don't have anything to like uh, this this one it will provide default okay in case if you are not able to see this one you need to uh, here don't click for uh, no you have to keep like that and check whether this capabilities comes for in this location or not in case if you are not able to see this location this data okay and here you can able to see continue with the appium setup using appium installer here it will be enter okay once it will enter then it will start for any package or something is missing then it will start for uh, setup for everything in a background okay it will ask you to need a help to setting for android environment or run your appium test that is the one we need to choose because we are going to run for uh, most of the time android only right not ios if you need a for ios you can able to choose for ios if you click here enter then it will start for any help uh, related which is the one real android device you want android emulator or both you need to choose for both the cases okay once you choose the both uh, and it will ask you for emulator selecting for that emulator which is the browser you want firefox and google chrome i'm going to choose for chrome only not because of firefox having some issue that's why i'm not going to choose and once you've done this one it will ask you this all the path and everything need to be set up in in your local and here you can able to see right night watchman android 11 night watchman android 11 this is the one it will start see here automatically it is started for 11 night watch android 11 which is our previous video we created for uh, one uh, uh, emulator right the similar format now also it is set up in for one emulator and it is waiting for complete load default it is open okay now you can see emulator is started for setup and all you can able to this one i will show you where it is presented here is nightwatch android 11 triple five four okay once it is loaded then we can able to get it for that emulator is started okay which uh, server it is started it will be 4723 server port number okay and whenever we run that moment we can able to see even you can able to browser await and everything will be presented here is services appium service and framework mojo and uh, reporter specs and mocha operation weddings okay these are the parameters it will be presented now verification of the chrome installation and everything done in case do you wish to set up a missing requirement for the chromium browser if you click yes it will start for that okay otherwise it will not okay in case if you want yes means you can click for yes sorry enter then it will start for your chromium one once it is done then you can able to go for down and here is exist once you've done the exit and it will everything will be setup is done okay now you can open for android studio now android studio and more actions and virtual device manager now you can see nightwatch android 11 is presented nightwatch android 11 is presented if i start this one 
now it will load and even you can able to see in the console also appm installer where it is appm it is installed everything and setting is because we all already completed for appm setup and all and the previous video that's why it is already set up everything and night watch night watch android 11 is presented okay this is a pixel is starting okay see now if you maximize this one these are the apps are presented okay now i'm going to minimize this one and i'm coming to the capabilities now these are the capabilities android chromium and uh, android appm emulator and 12 version and all is there but here it is basically 11 version okay not for tool platform version this is the one and i need to store for my app as well which is the app i'm going to run that particular app i'm going to choose and this is my app location okay this is a my app location it is presented inside the d drive okay and now this is the setup is completed okay everything is presented already this uh, android google api emulator i can we can able to find it by here android google api okay android google api emulator by default it will provide you while you are set up okay that is a device name or you can able to use for which is a uh, appm inspector we show you right there is a emulator for triple by four that name also it will work okay any one name we can able to use it okay i'll show you that name as well previous video i show that again i'm going to show you here as well see this is a emulator triple five this name also okay you can able to device location you can able to change also no problem if you use the same name no problem while you are installing the first time right that moment it will ask you appm server installation and everything you can able to install that also okay without any issue okay now i'm going to make it for clear then i'm going to in the specs location i'm going to creating a for new file that is called test.js okay this is my file i'm going to create for describe and i'm going to use for suit and function creation and here it block and test and i'm going to create for function here okay now i'm not going to run anything i'm not going to create for any code here i'm not going to create any code and just uh, minimize now just i'm minimizing and this is my appm watcher and this is my core location okay now i'm going to run for my file okay now this is my running for npx wdio run dot slash wdio configuration js spec and which is the spec i'm going to run okay and why uh, without writing code how it will call means because we are running for wdio dot config dot json file this json file we are already kept for everything code here okay okay this is called desired capability whenever we call this particular file automatically it will call for wdio okay and here what all the capabilities are presented everything it will call and background okay then it will install okay now i'm going to enter the server appium server also it will start by default in the back end 
it will not come for front end. Previous we are doing for uh, running for in the command from APM and iPhone and P and port number. Then server will start. Then we are going to do for emulator running and all right. Now here is a different approach. It will take for any emulator is uh, presented or not. Then based upon that, it will start your emulator running. Now oh, it is showing some error. Okay, it is asking to install this APM, NPX APM installer. Oh, sorry. This is the package issue. Okay, if you take this package, in case if you get the similar format of package issue, just to copy and open for Google and search the Google inside that. In uh, here, you can able to get that particular package name. Okay, and this is the one package name. Just copy this package, and uh, this is a package issue. While installing for uh, WDIO, some TypeScript TS iPhone node is not installed. Okay, that's why it is not able to. Now, again, I'm going to minimize now. Now running again. If something any package or something it is not able to install, then it will show you to install. And here one more question. Uh, there is a UI Automator 2. It is not asked me to install and all right because I already installed in that my previous video. That's why it is not asked me to install it. In case if it is asking, then you need to install into your local. Fail to create a session. One minute. A small uh, thing, it is there. It is a Chromium browser, it is a issue. Uh, because uh, we are not completely installed set up for Chromium driver. That's why it is showing that issue. Okay, Chromium driver installation and all this is the possibility. Then I uncom uh, commented this particular uh, browser issue. Then it is uh, start installation and you can see now. Here I just I commented this particular uh, line. It is a browser name Chrome is there right? that I mentioned for comment. Okay. After that is successed and again one more time I'm going to run the same spec. Now you can see APM server it is another another one it is installed here. Okay. Another new one, it is installed, it is a card passed. The code word passed. That is basically we can able to use for, by using this WDIO also, we can able to install for emulator. Okay, this is a simple installation. We can able to see for later video sessions some different things by using WDIO. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and please to share to your friends and colleagues. And don't forget to share. Thank you.